Oh shit, look at you. Oh my gosh, that's a mythical. Hell yeah. Howdy. What's up y'all, Tan the Fireman here, back with another The Hunter Call the Wild video. Today, we did a deep dive on all of the tips and tricks that I picked up while playing the game. I've been playing for about three months now, so I'm still learning myself. However, there's so much I've learned on this journey and I'd love to share that with you. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, please drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future videos. I love you guys, I'll see y'all soon. Guys, we are back on Hirschfelden. This is the first map I've ever played on, so this is going to be super exciting. I think it's been like three months since I've been on my The Hunter Call of the Wild journey, and a lot of things have changed. Whenever I first got on this map, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what a need zone was, how the time zones worked, what guns to use. I had not a clue. Obviously, we're going to be looking to shoot everything, but Red Deer is priority number one. Almost forgot to turn my HUD off. Oh, speaking of Red Deer, we just made some flea. Where the hell y'all at? Holy shit, man. Where the hell did you come from? That's gonna put him down, isn't it? What is... Did a little double take to make sure I wasn't chasing him. Don't you just love it when the deer run at you? It's super convenient. First one of the day, boys. Let's go. All right, we got him on the second shot with a vital. Hell yeah. All right, we'll take it. Hey, level up. Man, I've been seeing some gameplay of The Way of the Hunter, which I think is a sister game to The Call of the Wild. And man, does that shit look difficult. Oh my goodness. I don't have too much desire to play it, mainly because I'm having so much fun in this game. And not only that, The Way of the Hunter, although it may be a bit more advanced and it may be a bit more difficult, it doesn't look as good as Call of the Wild. So I'm not sure if I'm alone on that, but that is kind of preventing me from pursuing that game. But who knows, I might play it in the future. Another thing I've learned is that there are some crucial perks you should be picking up whenever you level up. Maybe I should do a, a skilling guide in the future. For instance, one of them relates to your personal visibility in the fog. If they, if, if animals struggle to see you in the fog or not, or decrease your visibility within fog or brush or, or, or whatever you have it. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, that's a big ass boy right there. Oh shit. We're gonna have to chase him down if we don't, if we're not able to shoot him. Dude, that guy was massive, man. We have to find him. We'll find him, y'all. We'll find him. Hopefully, he stops running. I am an avid runner in this game. I'm built for the marathon. I think they're crossing the river. Man, there was a massive herd of red deer. Nine? Holy shit. Oh, there's one. There's one. Okay. I'm assuming they're all going the same direction. Oh, what sucks is the... I think the buck is in the front of the herd, so he's probably far, far away. But, dude, I do not want to let up on him. Not one bit. Holy shit, man. Where the hell are you going? Take me to your mans, please. I would much appreciate that. Dude, I cannot believe I... Oh. oh my gosh! What the hell? Wait, where's he going? Dude! What is happening, man? Oh my gosh, bro. I thought he was long gone, man. He like circled around and came back. And these dogs are right behind him. Dude. Sometimes this game has some crazy shit going on, I swear. Look at the size of him. Is he a diamond? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, that had to have been the first shot. Okay, so we did hit him. Wow, he bled out a lot from that shot. Look at that, 83%? Bro! Oh my gosh, how the heck do we manage to catch him? I was about to give up. I was like, oh yeah, he's long gone. He's miles away now, but bro, he just came right back. Dude, isn't he beautiful? That is amazing. Looks like we got some boar tracks, too. And some roe deer. Bro, the red deer can get massive. If that was only a gold, oh my gosh. Like, what is a diamond going to look like? And I think the great one for red deer actually has, like, moss in their antlers, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Dude, I, I need to do a red deer great one grind. That would be fun AF. Let's see if we can find anything at this lake coming up. Seems promising. Oh! There we go, boys. Okay, so that's a little four. Nothing special there. Why are you nervous, big boy? Before we take a shot on him, let's... Oh, shit. They know we're here now. Damn. We'll see if we can get a shot. I keep switching my 223 for crying out loud, Tanner. I think that was a good shot. I was going to scan the area, but man, I spooked him a mile away. I wonder if he smelt me. Oh, dude, check it out. Okay, it was a vital. It was a vital. There he is. I see him. I see him. 
Heck yeah, man. So he was a level four? I'd be willing to bet he's like maybe a silver. Nice, nice. Great shot, Tanner. Hell yeah. He was just a baby. Best to get him off the map. If I'm not mistaken, we're getting close to where the bison are. Yeah, I knew it. European Bison. We played on Yukon Valley for the first time on stream yesterday, which was a ton of fun. Yukon Valley actually has Plains Bison, whereas Hirschfeld obviously has European Bison. I wonder which one's bigger. I should definitely uh, check that out whenever I can. I'm sure roughly the same. Whoa. I don't even see you guys. Is there a buck? There is a buck. Stop switching to the 223 tenor. I'm going to... Oh my gosh, I'm so pissed at myself. There we go. That was a vital. Yep, look at that health drop. There he goes. Nice. You know, I think every single herd today, uh, with the exception of one, uh, there's been more than one buck. So I found that to be interesting. I wonder if that is a normal thing for hunting red deer. Because after hunting fallow and whitetail for so long, they typically run with several males within one herd. Here we go. Silver. Okay. Simple enough. Let's keep it going. Man, they're running pretty damn slow. If they're letting me catch up to them. Yep, that's all the dough. Hurry up, girl. Before I shoot you. Look at that, boys. Look at that. Oh, he's alert, man. These things get alerted so fast. Yep, that'll put him down. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Why do they just stop? And plop. Good job. Good job, boys. He's definitely gonna be another silver. Yep, who would have thought? Y'all, is it just me, or is this game overwhelmingly addicted? When you find out how big these animals can get and how hard it is to acquire them, you just want to become the best. It's as simple as that, y'all. Especially with the Great One grinds and all that, how you can pick it up on your own time, and the, the science behind getting the big deer to spawn. Like, it, there's so much that goes into it, and it, it's, it's so much fun just to invest about it and improve over time and stuff like that. I haven't gotten a Great One yet. However, I am looking forward to whenever all of my hard work finally pays off i say hard work but i'm definitely looking forward to it now last time i was on hirschfelden i creeped up on some bison thinking that there were rocks when they're resting like that and they all they just look like big old boulders man and they're crazy so definitely be careful of that so guys a big thing that i learned while playing this game is that you want to target your need zones i probably mentioned that in a previous video but i can't stress it enough and i think that's something that's very intimidating when starting out in this game your gut reaction is to just say okay i'm just gonna run around and hopefully i find a deer that's not really how this game works there are schedules for when you will see deer in specific locations and how you know this is by their need zones so i know for instance i will have red deer in in this location at 6 to 10 in the morning and so ideally i would want to go to that location at 6 to 10 simple enough so i actually just changed my time to 7 and we're gonna head up to this lake right here and all of these zones are 6 to 10 and as you could tell earlier today while i was playing i was i actually shot some red deer over here as well that's why you see these blotches here so if you're ever playing and you see these big purple red blotches that's how you know if something has died in that location, the more you know, would tan the fireman. If a deer comes to a location, they're going to come back. You will see them again. For instance, if you spawn like a great one, a super, super rare spawn, you're definitely going to see them again. So if you can't take a good shot, don't sweat it. Just go hunt somewhere else rest have your character sleep and then come back the same time it might take him a couple tries but he will for sure be back i promise you another big thing is four wheelers i don't really use four wheelers that often mainly because you never know when a four wheeler is going to scare something off okay so unless you're wanting to just hunt from deer stands or tree stands and you need just and you just want to get there as fast as possible that's whenever I would recommend the four-wheeler. But if you're not playing like that and you're just wanting to hunt all of your rest zones, just run. Who knows? You might see some things on the way there, and I'm sure you'd be pretty upset if you spooked them on the way. But if you do decide to use the four-wheeler, I think a general rule of thumb is to get off of it 300 yards before you get to your location. Or 500 if you want to play a little bit safer. Because you got to remember, these deer have immensely powerful ears, and they're going to hear that from that distance easily <laughs> hey look at that some shed oh that's super cool back when i first started playing this game i wouldn't take any shot over 200 yards because i just wasn't confident with with any of the guns so one thing i would urge you guys to do is take risks you're not going to always get the biggest trophy but hey getting your aim down to ensure that whenever that big boy does come along that you're going to take a, a fantastic shot it's going to be worth it y'all so don't be afraid to make mistakes oh shit look at him i didn't even see him 
Got him right in the neck, boys. That's exactly where you want to aim for, boys. If they have their ass showing towards you and they're running directly away from you, aim right for that neck. It's a solid trophy every time. Not the biggest boy. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe a little bit too high. <laughs> right here is where you want to aim for. <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful of that. <laughs> that sucks, man. Uh, ain't the first or last that that's going to happen. Oh, shit. Look at you. <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's a mythical. Please go down. Please tell me he goes down. That was insane, man. Right after I was done walking the road, I come back to the lake and that's what I found. Oh my gosh. That was like split second too. I feel like if I delayed that shot any second, he would have taken off. There he is. There he is, baby. Tuna found it. <laughs> Finally. Oh my gosh. Look at him, y'all. Holy shit, dude. That's our goal. Oh my gosh, man. He is massive. Dude, that is crazy. Oh, that is bad ass, y'all. Just missed the heart. And that was just a bullshit shot right there. He won't get in the way after that knee shot. Dude, hell yeah, boys. We're gonna save him. So that's my biggest piece of advice, y'all. Target your resting zones. That is where you're gonna find all the deer. I get so many people that comment on my TikToks and my YouTube shorts. Like, dude, you're seeing more animals in one spot than I am walking around for eight hours. That's why, man, I'm telling you. The odds of finding a massive trophy just walking around is slim to none. I'm telling you guys. You're going to find these big trophies at lakes, in resting zones, in eating areas. Very rarely are you just going to find them walking around doing nothing. So if you take two things from this video, let it be need zones don't be afraid to mess up because even the best players in this game mess up every single time they turn on the game every shot it could have been better every spot at which they took their shot could have been better and that's the beauty of hunting there's always room for improvement oh god tuna jeez. Uh oh something's chasing me oh shit there he is don't chase don't charge me that was a vital for sure Oh! oh. <laughs> what am I doing jumping into him, dumbass Tanner? Oh, got him. Oh, man, he's so dramatic. Hey, that was a gold. Nice, dude. Oh, that first shot was way off. Oh, my goodness. Hey, but we got him there, though. Almost got both of his lungs. I'm surprised we didn't. Hell yeah, dude. A gold bison just right beside me? That's badass, dude. Hell yeah. Y'all, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I love you guys so much. Take it easy.